Hey YouTube, it's XFlybrex here. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been very busy with schoolwork, but I'm going to try to start making videos again. Don't expect a lot, but I'm going to try. Alright, so this video is pretty simple. It's uh, to replace the decks for Solitaire. Like, as you can see, these decks suck. None of these are good at all. I'm sorry, they just all suck. So we're going to replace them. So what you're going to want to do is download this program. It's in the description. It's called ResHack. It's a great tool. I use it for a lot of different things, especially modding. So just download that. Once you've done that, you want to create a folder somewhere on your computer, preferably, preferably where you can actually remember it and where it is. And you're going to create two folders inside of that named cards.dll backup and resource backup because you're going to need those later. So now let's go into your Windows folder. Usually it's on your C drive. Might might be different for you, but mine's on my C drive. So go into C drive, Windows, System32, and then scroll until you find the cards.dll file. It's usually alphabetized. So here's mine. I'm gonna right click it and copy it, and then open that folder that you made, and go to cards.dll backup and paste it. Now the reason we're backing this up is just in case you mess up your cards, like beyond repair, then all you have to do is copy and paste it back into System32 and it'll be all fine and dandy again. So just minimize System32 again because we're going to need to go back in there later. And now right click on Cards DLL Backup again, copy it, and then paste it on your like on your desktop so we have something to work with. Alright, now open up ResHack. And go to File, Open, go to your desktop, and go to cards.dll. Now, as you can see, there's two folders, bitmap and version info. All the, all the cards are stored in bitmap, so open that up, and then open any number, it doesn't really matter, I'm just gonna open one, and click on an image. As you can see, it's an ace. All the aces, the numbers, and the face cards, and the decks, and all that, and all that such is stored in here. So these are where all the images are. But now that you've done that, and you've actually selected an image, right click on the bitmap folder, click save bitmap resources, and then on your desktop, go into that folder you made, and go to resource backup, and just name this whatever, it doesn't matter what you name it, and just click save. So that just basically backed up all your bitmaps, and made them so you can edit them. Now, scroll down to the 50s, because that's where the uh, decks, like, start, so, uh, <coughs> sorry. But they start at 54, I think? Yeah, 54. So find one you want to replace. I'm going with 57 because it's a frog and it's gay. So you're going to want to minimize ResHack here. Go to your resource backup folder. Find your bitmap that you want to replace, which is right here. Preview it, make sure that's it. Yeah, it's the frog. And then edit it with like Paint or Photoshop or something. But for the sakes of the video, I've already done it and I've made mine Ghost from Modern Warfare 2. So once you actually get your bitmap that you want, open up ResHack again, find your image, right click on it, which is going to be 1033, click replace resource, and it's going to ask you to open the file with the new bitmap, which is the button right here. So you're going to click that, browse for your bitmap, which is mine is on the desktop, uh, where is it, there it is, and it's going to show a preview over here, and then make sure that it's the same number as your bitmap in this right hand window, or you'll replace another image, and that's not good. So just make sure you have your selected, mine is still on 57, which is the frog, because it shows you a preview if you go over these. So mine's on 57, then click replace. And for the most part, you're fairly done with this. You're going to click on file, save, and then exit out of ResHack. It's going to create a new cards original.dll, which is just a backup, but you can delete it. And then this cards DLL is actually your modded one. <coughs> So from here, you're going to right-click on it, click Copy, go back into your System32 folder that you kept open, and then right-click and hit Paste, and it's going to ask you to replace and hit Yes. And you're pretty much done. So uh, open up Solitaire here, go to Game, Deck, and select your deck, and there it is. It's your custom deck. That's pretty much it. This has been a tutorial by X. Rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, just wait for new videos.